Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a custom rainbow watermark in your application using IMG UI. So this watermark will feature a dynamic rainbow line at the top and will be placed uh, at the top left of your screen. So let's get started. This video idea was suggested in the Discord server, so please join the Discord server and if you need any help, I'm here. Uh, the stuff is there. And uh, yeah, subscribe, leave a like, and let's get right into it. Let's open our project here, go right uh, before the main. And uh, to keep things organized, we'll create a single function that will handle drawing our watermark and the rainbow line. So this function will be responsible for uh, rendering the watermark at the top left corner of the screen outside of any specific IMGUI windows. So uh, let's uh, let's begin. We're gonna do everything in a void, as I said. So void. Let's name it draw rainbow watermark like this. You can name it however you want. We don't need to take in any any parameters, but if you want, you can take something like text or whatever. I'm just gonna do a generic text for now. So let's start with the most important things, should I say. First of all, let's set the position in the corner. For this, we're gonna use IMGY set next window position. And we're gonna use an I'm vector view. And obviously X0, Y0, uh, to be the top of the screen. And then I'm guy condition always. So no matter what, it's there. We're gonna set the window size, so I'm GUI set next window size now, and we're gonna do uh, let's say 300 by I'm vector 2, let's say 300 by 80. We can change this later, but it should be a pretty good size for the watermark. You can calculate this size, the X size, you can calculate it by the text you are gonna in with but for now I'm just gonna leave it 380 and uh, again the condition should be always then we're gonna begin our window so I'm GY begin uh, the name doesn't really matter so we just see watermark and uh, then we're gonna go with a new pointer or open and then some flags so we're gonna go on GUI window flags no decoration and we also wanna do uh, no background I think no move and no input so just gonna copy this and no title bar but I think it doesn't come with the title bar so no uh, input no move and no background no background this should suffice we can test later a bit to see if everything is all right but everything should be all right so now let's get to the rainbow line i'll write it here because i'll give you this text uh, if you want to copy and paste the code directly and don't want to go through the whole tutorial with me and understand uh, you have the code in your description in the description on my website so i'll leave you so uh, so i'll leave you some comments along the way so now we draw the rainbow line let's do a draw list and draw list and get the window probably so i don't know i think it was get window draw list yeah okay <clears throat> and then we're gonna do a person screen pause and store it in a variable this name b doesn't really matter on gui get cursor screen position this will be the position to start drawing uh, we need a width and a thickness, so width of the line, so width, you can play with this as well, I'll just go 300, uh, the size of the window, but again, uh, if you want, you can change this and this with I'm guy calculate text size, so you know how big is your text, etc. And let's go with a thickness of um, 4, 
course on the right as the four. Now um, we need the gradient colors, so gradient colors for the rainbow line. We need a rainbow start and a rainbow end. So I'm gonna go I'm U32, so you can type directly RGB rainbow start I'm underscore color 32. We can use this and uh, let's say cyan. Sign would be cool. I think it's 0 to 55 to 55 and the opacity to 55. I think this is cyan. Anyways, I'll just type it here. Pretty sure this is cyan. And then we're going to copy this and make an end as well. So rainbow start and rainbow end. And we should end in yellow. And yellow is 255, uh, 255 and 0. And 55 again for the opacity. Now we draw the gradient line. Um, so draw gradient line. We do it with a draw list. Let's go. Draw underscore list, and we use add. We use uh, add rec field and multicolor here. It's gonna make our life very easy. And uh, some dumbass is. Um, revving his motorcycle down the road and I have the window open so if you heard that oh my noise suppression I'm sorry anyways I'm vector 2 and it's gonna be p dot x and then p dot y for our cursor as the first argument we're gonna type them like this one under the other so it's easier to modify and play with then I'm vector 2 here we go p dot x plus the width and p dot y plus the thickness thickness going forward we need the color so rainbow this is upper left upper right uh bottom right and bottom left uh so you can use actually four types of colors which i'm just gonna use two variables so i'm just gonna put start and then and rainbow and and then again rainbow and and rainbow start okay now we have the gradient line uh, we can continue and now we need to draw the watermark text uh, below the rainbow line so let's just write this here draw watermark text below the line and let's start i'm gui set cursor pause and we do it only for the y axis uh, i'm gui get cursor pause y plus the thickness and plus here a slight uh, padding i'm gonna choose for see what's best for you so we need to add spacing after um, the line. All right. And all you have to do now is really just write your text. That's what I'm saying for the width. You can use calculate text size of this text right here. I'm just going to do your custom watermark, I guess. And now don't forget to end your... Um, I'm GUI window, so you don't have memory loss, and you can take this draw rainbow watermark void and use it um, anywhere in our program. You see, I already have it here for from the testing, but I put it here right after a new frame. You can put it anywhere, and let's run the local Windows debugger and see if we've um, achieved what we wanted. And as you can see on the top left, our um, very cute custom watermark is uh, is working fine. It looks pretty cool. The sizes are right. And uh, yeah, you can modify it as you wish. This is just a simple watermark. Obviously, you can place things like frame rate there, time, variables. You can edit your text, make a whole string out of it. And uh, obviously, don't forget to calculate the size of that text in order to get your, uh, your width. 
um, of the line as well and the window but uh, this is a simple tutorial to show you how to do this line I, I think it looks pretty well pretty good anyways thank you for watching please subscribe and leave a like and join the discord server down below and um, also leave some suggestions for future videos in the comments or in the discord because pretty much the past four videos i think in this series are ideas from you guys and also if you have any other questions you can also join the discord server uh, because we usually answer them if we have time anyways thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye bye